Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the lateral spinal thalamic tract and like the name implies, the lateral spinal thalamic tract can be found in the lateral portion of the spinal cord. It's this cone-shaped thing that's right here. And also like the name implies, it goes from the spine up to the thalamus. So what does the lateral spinal thalamic tract do? Well, the lateral spinal thalamic tract is responsible for bringing pain and temperature sensations to the brain. And we're going to look at this in just a minute. But before we do, you'll notice I have lines that are in this lateral spinal thalamic tract here. So what happens is if you get sensations from down low in your body and they come up and they go into the sacrum area, it's going to be more lateral in the spinal lateral thalamic tract. So you can see it would actually go to this area right here. Let's say you had something, some nerves that were going into your lumbar spine. That, those, they would go travel right here in the lateral spinal thalamic tract. If it's from your thoracic spine, they're going to travel right here in the lateral spinal thalamic tract. And if it's your cervical spine, those nerves would travel right here. So let's say you're at home and you're working with a hammer and you hit your finger with the hammer on accident. You're holding a nail, you miss, and you hit your finger. All right, what would happen here? If you notice, we have, see, uh, we have parts of the cervical spine here. So basically, this is gonna be coming from the C6 nerve into the spinal cord. So here comes the sensation right here of pain. All right, it's gonna come like this. Here's my cell body again. Remember, this is my pseudo unipolar nerve. And then it's going to come into the back part of the spinal cord. Now, what's going to happen next is this nerve, now that it's in the back of the spinal cord, is actually going to travel up one or two levels. Okay, so here we went from C6 to C4. Once it gets there, what it will do is it will form a synapse. So remember now, this has traveled up one or two levels, and now it's gonna synapse with another nerve. This other nerve is gonna come across like this, go across the anterior white commissure, travel over to here, and because of the fact that we said it's gonna be going into the cervical spine, it's gonna go into this part of the lateral spinal thalamic tract, the most medial part. Remember, we said if it was down in the feet or the legs, and went into the sacrum, it'd be over here. From there, it's going to travel up towards the brain. It's gonna go through the medulla oblongata and go into the thalamus. Now, once it's in the thalamus, what it's going to do is it's going to synapse with another nerve again. All right, so here's my next nerve in my thalamus. If you notice, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I have lines drawn along the outside of this brain here. This is the outer portion of the inside of the brain. And this is called the cerebral cortex. Now, in this case, what happens is you have something called the primary somatosensory cortex that's located in this part of the cerebral cortex. The primary somatosensory cortex is responsible for feeling sensations such as pain. Different parts of this are responsible for different parts of the body. So the part that's gonna feel pressure or pain or anything like that from the hand is located right around in this area here. If the pain was coming from your foot, it would be somewhere up in here. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna synapse and then this is going to go over to the primary somatosensory cortex, like we said. And from there, the pain sensation will be felt. So just to reiterate, the pain sensation comes in it goes to the back of the spinal cord. It goes up one to two levels. Then it synapses, crosses over to the other side to the lateral spinal thalamic tract, heads up to the thalamus, synapses, and then goes over to the primary somatosensory cortex. And that is your lateral spinal thalamic tract. Thank you very much for watching.